my name is uh, Steve Horton. I'm a professor in the Department of Biology at Union College here. We've been working in the lab here uh, at Union for the last 20 years on the molecular biology of how fungi grow and develop. And recently we've uh, entered into a collaboration with um, Ecovative, a local company, that uses some of these fungi in their product development. So specifically what they do is they uh, use the fungi to make packaging and other types of material that is presently or more commonly used uh, made out of styrofoam and other non-degradable uh, materials. And instead they use agricultural waste um, that's locally obtained and they inoculate or add the fungus to this waste. And what the fungus does is act as a biological glue in effect. It grows throughout the, the waste and then just hold it, kind of holds it together. They secrete proteins and other compounds that kind of act as this glue. And then you just pop this out of the mold, uh, pop the mold out of the mold, so to speak, and, uh, and then heat it up to kill the fungus. And then you can use this for, again, a variety of packaging materials. And then when it's done, you can literally just throw this in your compost or throw it out in the woods somewhere and it will completely degrade biologically um, because it's a completely natural product. In this lab, we're trying to just manipulate the growth just to kind of see if there's any conditions that the fungus grows better. So one of the big things we did was UV mutagenesis, where we um, diluted the DNA sample and then like stuck it in what looks like a microwave and then we let it grow at different temperatures. Because we're interested in growth patterns, we identified a gene and that controls the growth factors of the fungi. So we took what's called a plasmid from E. coli and that's what the transformation experiment is, is that we remove that gene and put in something else and we select for the ones that we're transforming. So you can deliberately manipulate the fungus using some of the laboratory techniques that we use here and then what we call screen or select for those somewhat rare individuals who will have the characteristics that you desire. When I went to Professor Horton to talk to him about a thesis, he was just starting to get involved with this idea. Um, and it really interested me mostly because it was a real, it had a real life application. When we work with research, it's really hard to see a large scale implication of it because everything we're doing is under the microscope or microliters and stuff, you know? So when you actually know that it's causing a long-term impact and the fact that if it someday comes on the market and you can tell people that, you know, that's what I worked on in college. So I appreciate being given this opportunity to, you know, research such an environmental issue. Yeah.